What is up YouTube? Bunny Foams here with a brand new video and we are back in the great game of Lumber Tycoon 2 and in today's video we are going to be building an advanced sawmill setup and right now I am taking you to Link's Logic where I'm going to show you everything you're going to need. The big difference between this setup and the last one I did is that there is going to be automatic wood sorting using some of the items you can purchase from the store located across this ocean i guess i don't know what it is what it, i don't know what it is but in the comment section put whatever you think this is it could be like a massive lake or a river or an, an ocean i call it an ocean but over here is link's logic where you can buy all of these really cool things that you can build contraptions with and some of the things we are going to need will include the wood detector and then i believe signal sustain so let's go ahead and let's drive back a little bit just so our the truck is flush with the store there we go and we're going to go ahead and buy I guess we'll start, well, it depends how many things you want to sort. So we're only going to be sorting two different types of wood just because that's the most simple type. So we're going to get two of these wood detectors. And if you press E on here, you can see that the price for just one is $11,300, which is quite expensive, but this will help you build this setup. And next you want to go ahead and buy a signal sustain and what this does is it will keep the power on for the conveyor and that'll make more sense later on and you want to make sure you buy the right one because if you look here there's a box with delay and there's a box with sustain you want to get sustain and you want to get one for each uh, different type of wood you want to sort so we're going to buy two of these like so and we're just going to go ahead and talk to this person here. So now we'll order us, let's go over the different types of conveyors that you will need. You're going to need to buy four straight conveyors, one funnel conveyor, four tilted conveyors, and then it depends. You can buy two left switching conveyors or two right switching conveyors, or you can literally buy one of each. It just depends how you want to do your setup. But for this video, we are going to buy two left switching conveyors. You could also buy this conveyor right here. It switches in between, but we're just gonna go ahead and stick with this one because it's much easier if you wanna make a larger setup. This one would be more complicated if you wanted to use more than two different types of wood sorting bins. You need a sawmill, obviously. So get your sawmill of choice. It doesn't matter what it is. I mean, the best sawmill in the game is the best sawmill to use for this, but whatever sawmill you have doesn't really matter. But anyways, get your straight sawmill or straight conveyor, and you want to place it at the front of the sawmill, like so. Look at that. Wow. And then you want to go ahead and get your funnel conveyor. Ooh, look at the funnel conveyor. And this is just a nice opening. It's a little wider. That way you can easily load branches and logs onto here without any issues. But there are also all sorts of really cool things you can make from tutorials on YouTube. There's a content creator named Apton who has a very cool channel. I believe I'm speaking of the right channel, but it's like an auto wood unloader. You park your truck, you respawn the truck and all of the wood falls onto the conveyor. So you don't have to lift up a single log. I highly recommend searching for it but we're going to go ahead and continue with this it's just the easiest way and i don't want to infringe on that idea we're going to go ahead and grab another straight conveyor and we're going to place this at the end right here and now with that conveyor down let's go ahead and grab the tilted conveyors i believe we purchased four so we're going to go ahead and make this four conveyors high that way the bins can be larger so essentially the higher this conveyor is or the more tilted conveyors you buy the bigger the bins for the wood or whatever you're building uh, can essentially be and placing these is quite easy it's literally just stacking them like so and just doing so until you run out of straight conveyors or space whichever one comes first and now let's go ahead and get the final straight conveyor placed down after placing all of the tilted conveyors so I believe we should have two straight conveyors. So we'll go ahead and we're going to place one here like so and we'll make sure the arrow is pointing the correct direction. There we go. And now we can go ahead and get out these fancy conveyors and we should have one conveyor left, um, which is a straight conveyor, which we'll put in between these. So these are what is going to go ahead and sweep the wood into the bins. You want to make sure you have it lined up in the right direction so that when the arm is activated like so, I believe, there we go. When it's activated like that, it should push the wood to the left. If you purchase one that goes to the right or you place this backwards, the wood will not blow and it might just get stuck here. So make sure you have the right uh, conveyor. So now that we have that one down, we're going to go ahead, grab the straight conveyor, place it after that. And then finally, we'll grab the last sweeper and then place it there. So yeah, let's place this here and do the same. 
and this is what it should like look like with all of the conveyors placed it looks really like satisfying i guess i don't know but it looks nice so we have the funnel conveyor then we have a straight conveyor then we have the sawmill another straight conveyor four tilted conveyors another straight conveyor and then the switch conveyor and then a straight conveyor and then another switch conveyor and this is what it's called so let's go ahead and let's go over the wood so how it's going to work is we're going to have a wood detector when the wood is detected this arm will extend and then when it's not detected it will retract to where it is currently and then if another wood type is detected over here the arm will extract or extend and if it's no wood if the wood doesn't match it will just retract to where it is and then all of the extra or excess wood will just be placed right here at the end where you can create a bin so now let's go ahead and well make the bins so we are going to use a large floor blueprint you can also use large tiles to save wood but we have the power to build with these which lets us fill in blueprints with little tiny pieces of wood instead so we're going to go ahead and place a total of two like so and then for the other bin we're going to make two other bins so let's go ahead and place one here and then place one here like so and then finally rotate and i believe we can place one okay we'll have to change that in a bit uh let's go ahead and move this one back just a bit like so and then that should be good let's go ahead and then get out an eight by four blueprint and we're gonna place these like so we're gonna place one like this and then one like that and then do the same for this bin here like so and then rotate place one here and then place one here if you want to make this symmetrical you can go ahead and just place two posts that way it does completely line up and then as for this like little gap right here if you really want you can go ahead and place down some wedges uh you can use like a one over one by one wedge or you can do a two over one wedge also yeah one over one wedge there we go yeah i'll show you what it means yeah you can do that but i'm not going to do it for everyone just to save some wood and here are the completed bins we have a wood for or a bin for birch wood we have a bin for blue wood or cave crawler wood and then finally we have this brown bin right here which is just for all other woods i don't really know what else to make this bin out of but it's not for just walnut wood because this is where all the extra wood is going to go so now let's go ahead and do some wiring so let's go ahead and move on to the next part of the video which is going to be wiring what we want to go ahead and do is start off with the wood detector and the wood detector is what's going to go ahead and emit a laser beam that will detect when there is wood what you want to do is you want to place this so that it is in front of where this wood sweeper is and on top of this little knob and it's just convenient because it there's a really loud engine behind me <laughs> uh, driving by okay so yeah, you want to have it so that the wood detector is placed on top of this little arrow thing um, and pointing in the direction of the wood detector. It doesn't really matter where it's pointing as long as that it is over the conveyor and it's low enough so that it will detect any wood that passes by. Next up, you want to go ahead and grab a signal sustain. Make sure it's not a delay or else you will have issues. You want to go ahead and grab this. Make sure the arrow is pointing away and you want to place it so that the two are connecting like so. That way you don't have to grab a wire. And then finally, you, uh, the default time will be set to this. You want to go ahead and spam E until this white knob is all the way at the top, meaning the signal will be sustained for a really long time. There we go. And then finally, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a wire. It doesn't matter what type of wire, but I just have neon wires on my base, so we are going to go ahead and use those. This wire, uh, I'm just going to try and connect it somewhere. Can I connect it here? Uh, some sort of issue, but let's go ahead and just do it like this. And voila. The final step for this is actually making this laser beam turn on. Because as you can see, there is no laser. And what you need to do is for whatever wood you want sorted into this bin, you need to go ahead, grab a piece, and sawmill it into a really tiny piece right here that will fit into that little box. I have the dimensions here set to 0.8 by 0.8, so we're going to go ahead, toss this piece of wood in, and chop it into a tiny little nugget, like the ones over there, but those we are not going to use. So let's go ahead, chop this up like so, and toss it in here, and you will faintly notice a little laser beam being emitted. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a piece of birch wood and test this out to see if it will work. So let's toss this here and just wait. 
So the birch wood's about to cross the laser beam. It does, it pushes the wood, and then it goes in this direction towards the bin like so. And that's how this should work. I mean, if you have really tiny pieces, there might be some issues, but this is only going to sort birch wood. So if you wanted to have a larger wood, for example, you would have to go ahead, or not larger wood, but a different type of wood, you would have to go ahead and build another sorter or change it so that it does not sort birch wood. So as you can see, it works for this, just pushes it right in. Let's go ahead and see this last piece before we go ahead and move on to the blue wood. So for sorting blue wood or any other type of wood, it is still the same process. You wanna go ahead and grab the wood detector, it's called wood check on the box. You wanna go ahead and place it so that is above this little no arrow knob right here, which controls the direction. And there's also some slight lag because someone is loading in their base. So after a one minute lag spike, let's go ahead and place this right here on top of the arrow and then grab a signal sustain just like we did earlier and connect it to it by placing it literally right next to it with the arrow pointing away. Okay, and now we can go ahead and grab the wire. Um, actually, yeah. Well, yeah, we need to grab a wire, which is just going to be a green neon wire. And let's go ahead and just connect it right here, go down and then connect it to the knob right here. There we go. And then finally, let's adjust the time up here and then grab a piece of wood. That way the laser beam turns on. So just sawmilling a really tiny piece of wood will let us fit it inside the box here and turn the laser beam on like so. Let's go ahead and test sawmill a log of blue wood. I mean, I don't really have a log, but I have this sawmill piece, which will actually make into a actual size that will be used. Let's increase this to the maximum size possible. That way it is the most realistic. As you can see, it is going to go past the first laser beam and not get detected. And then it'll go past the second one and then it'll be detected. Look at that. So there it goes past the first one. And then here's the second one. There we go. Turns on and it just sweeps the wood right into the bin. But what if we get a wood that doesn't match anything? Well, I mean, it's pretty standard. It's just literally not going to go anywhere. Uh, it's just gonna go into the last bin, which is going to be the miscellaneous wood bin. And coincidentally, that brown wood matches the color of the bin. But just know this bin is for all types of woods, not just that type of wood. So let's go ahead and just watch this. And there we go. It goes into the final bin without triggering any of these little sweepers. And that's also due to the fact that it literally went under the laser beams. But even if it didn't, it would still not trigger it because these woods have to match the wood inside of the wood detector for each one. But that is it for today's tutorial, everyone. If you did enjoy, consider pressing the like button or subscribing. Before I do in today's video, I will do a brief rundown on every single component in front of me from start to finish. First off, we have a funnel conveyor. Then we have a straight conveyor right here. Then we have the sawmill. Then we have a straight conveyor. Then we had four tilted conveyors that lead to a straight conveyor that leads to a straight conveyor switch left. And this switch left conveyor has a wood detector with a piece of wood inside, a signal sustain set to the max length, and then finally one wire that connects the signal sustain to the conveyor with the switch. And then the conveyor with the switch leads into a bin. Then it's another straight conveyor right here that leads to the same setup with the switch conveyor, wood detector, signal sustain, and wire that leads into the bin. And then finally at the end is just an empty bin, or not an empty bin, but a bin with um, all the miscellaneous woods. This setup can easily be extended by literally just replicating each section of it. You can literally just take a portion of this and do copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, all the way in the end. But as you can see, there's a store in the way. So we can't make this setup any longer. One of the perks of being a Discord server booster or channel member is a shout out in every single video. So shoutouts go out to Finbar, Fishfish700, Nizab, Nickelplate Railroad, ProGamerDoggo, ProGamer, Rich, Snoopy, Your Taxes Are Due, ZooTed, SmartT16, and Caveman Grungar, or Gr Gr Grugar, Grugnar, there we go. So that's all of the boosters, but thank you for watching today's video. If it was helpful, considering subscribe or consider subscribing to help us reach 100,000 subscribers. But that's it, everyone. Have a good day, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.